In this video, you're going to learn how to filter your data in Excel. Now, if you've got data which you have a large amount of data in your spreadsheet, you may wish to only look at a small part of it. And that's why you can actually filter out the data. Um, so here we have the Logan Dam water quality data set from the CSIRO. And so we've got 51 results here, but I don't necessarily want to see all these results. So I'm just going to click up here and I'm going to go into the data ribbon. And in the data ribbon, you have your sort and filter over here. So we're just going to click on filter. And you see it's put all these little drop downs along here, which allows us to um, filter out and only show particular values for each column. So if I go into the photoplankton, and if I choose here, I might want to see those days, only those days which have photoplankton results of over 20. So I'm going to say, instead of saying select all, I'm going to untick that and then tick the values that I want to see. So these are all the values that I wish to see. And if I go OK, you can see it's limited and it will only show me those rows which actually have the values of photoplankton that I ticked off. Now you can actually do multiple filters within the one set. So I might want to also combine this with um, any of the um, chloroplasm um, where it's over, or chlor the chlorophyll was, where the chlorophyll is also over 20. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to unselect all. I'm just going to say these four and you'll see you're only give me the results for those four. So it's going to filter on the photoplanktons and the fl filter on the chlorophyll. So those values are there. You can see the filter exists because they've got little gray marks in. If I click on that and just again click on select all, and if I click on here and go select all or just say clear filter, it will just return them all back to the original value. So that's how you filter values and data values in Excel.